Hello and welcome to another episode of Blocks Be Mine. I am Mr. M Cubed and we have cows and chickens and cows and chickens and you're outside again. Why do you not stay inside? Hmm. Oh, I remember this. Um, this is my attempt <laughs> at a farm. Uh, yeah, it'll all get better, but in the meantime, it's j hello. Let's see if we can. Uh, that might have been a mistake. If I hide underneath the tree, he might not be able to kill me. Uh, where's he gone now? Um, oh. Hello? There you go. Did my sword break and then come back again? Um. Okay. Sure. I'll have to check back on uh, that footage. I'm pretty sure it broke. Good. See, this is another item. Um, as you might have guessed, I haven't actually yet started collecting items as such. Like, I haven't um got items ready to go oh I've got this now I've got that now etc etc purely because um I a lot of the items are just too easily obtainable that it makes no sense just to start collecting a load now then I'll be done I've done the majority of the uh majority of the uh, collection very quickly with only a few left. It seems a bit boring that way. So I've decided to get everything set up. Um, get everything set up first, like in terms of the world. Um, like with the home base and some supplies and stuff. And then at the end of each episode, collect something. Uh, and then add it to the wall. But I am going now think I think I could do with hunting let's make another chest I'm gonna go and see if there is a village anywhere nearby I'm not I'm not even too sure if I want to stay around this location because I don't know it just doesn't seem that much interesting that makes sense uh, how do I do it again there's a shift don't need you, don't need half of you, you might as well go, that's pointless, oh no I'll keep you, okay well I'll put you there just in case, okay, have some wood and some sticks, put you on the hot bar, get rid of you, 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 and don't need you, um, let's make bed. Do I have any wool? No. I shall find wool on the way. Take you with me. Um, now what I haven't done is gone over there much. So let's go. So what I'm, I might as well get some clay while I'm here. Well, so what I'm going to try and do is hopefully find a village because that has carrots and wheat and villages and hopefully it's nearby so much so that oh, well there goes that so much so that trading becomes an option oh, I'm going to stop drowning oh, I'm cool <laughs> park all on the lily pads yeah so that's the mission for today village hunt do I have any ink sacks I'm about to find out I Thank you very much, and we shall rise to the surface. 
Oh, where's... Oh, midday. And I still haven't figured out that there seems to be a bit of an issue sometimes. If I if I sprint forward, or just generally if I move forward, my mouse, um, the cursor in the middle, seems to not respond to my mouse movements. I'm not sure if that's a Minecraft thing or uh, my mouse. Um, it only seems to be intermittent, so I'm not really too sure. It's not a huge problem, it's just a bit annoying. You know, it could be could prove disastrous later on. Okay. So what to talk about? Well, there's something hot on everyone's mind at the moment, and that is the remnants of E three with the PS four and the Xbox One. And I I Whoa, that was a bit of a lag spike. Um, does my compass still work? Yes, it does. It's better eat. Um, I myself generally play uh, on the Xbox uh, as well as um, on the PC. Um, pigs. Uh, and I rarely play the PS4. I only really play it for... Um, uh, I have uh, Final Fantasy 7, 8 and 9 on the PS3 as a downloadable thing from the PSN and so I like playing them every so often but other than that I don't really play the PS3 at the moment it's, it's currently broken uh, the CD drive is uh, kaput and I have yet to invest in a new CD drive um, I actually have the 60 gigabyte version the one that came with the flash and uh, all those other little attachments that the other ones didn't and it has backwards compatibility as well which is obviously very nice as uh, all the new ones and a few of the older ones didn't have that feature so I was able to play um, Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank um, from the PS2 onto the PS3 there's, there's, there seems to be a lot of anti um, backwards compatibility and I can understand why I mean it's a lot of time and money to invest in a floating tree um, floating trees time a lot of time money to invest into a, a, a technology that isn't required as such not a huge amount of people use it so I can understand why they don't um, uh, do it as much this is a lot of chickens like a lot of chickens I'm just trying to get a few more seeds, if you're wondering. Okay, um, but yeah, so out of the out of the remnants of that little excursion into E3, it seems like the PS4 is the console to choose. Um, although the Xbox One has a few, uh, what do you call them? It's completely gone out of my mind. Ah, um, oh, jeez. I can't even think. But, so that it's, it's, only going, it's only going to be available on the PS uh, on the Xbox One. Um, I I can't remember the word. It's literally gone out of my mind. I feel so stupid. Um, I want to say prerequisites, but that's not right. It's something like uh, I don't even know. I I did know. I had it in my head, and I literally I just forgotten. Um, Yeah, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna try and think it's it's hurting too much. Um so yeah, it has those limited uh, those games limited to certain consoles. Exclusives, that's what I was thinking of. Exclusives. That was silly. I deserve that for not knowing simple words. Um so like I think uh, Titanfall was an exclusive for the Xbox One. And that looks like a pretty good game. Looks like uh a bit of leg and I fell over um, it looks like a uh, sort of I haven't found any sheep what was I doing with my life uh, um, Titanfall looks like a pretty good game it looks like a mix between a Call of Duty style shooting game with ah oh, there's sheep with some sort of other game element you know some sort of sci-fi stuff looks pretty interesting um, 
Uh, do I have any iron? I'm sorry, sheep. You have to die. And I check my sword at you. I just, I'm sorry. I, d I don't, I didn't bring any shears. I'm an idiot. There you go. Ooh, a ravine. Hmm, interesting. Interesting enough to look at? Probably not. So, uh, we need to create a little, as Kurt J. Mack from Farlands of Best would say, a uh, hidey hole. So that we do not get killed. Uh, the reason why I didn't bring my dog as well is because I'm pretty sure that I was going to um, do something silly like get lost or something. And I didn't want to have to look after myself and Scruffles. I'm going to try not to let him die. Seems quite like a, like a nice fellow. Okay, so let's make a bed, sleep, and continue the villager hunt. I would like to find diamonds soon as well, but the last couple of excursions haven't been so great. Uh, the reason why I'm breaking the bed as well is that my spawn point, my natural spawn point, is right next to my um, house. So, useful. That'll be one advantage of staying um, near where I am now, is that if I do happen to die without a spawning location, I can at least spawn near, you know, all the things that I have. So if I did actually build the museum and house items there I wouldn't it wouldn't, it wouldn't bother me too much if I died because I have all the items still at home so sort of an advantage of staying near your natural spawn okay this jungle is getting quite terrainy um, I haven't actually seen any ocelots yet for anyone who has not seen my videos, I am not a Minecraft noob as such. I've been playing for uh, since November. Oh, I don't even know. Since November 2011 or 2012, I, I can't remember the date. It's not not as soon as it, I started playing in like beta 1.6 or 1.7.3, one of those. So I've been, you know, I know how to play, sort of, um, but I've been playing the Xbox version more recently, and I just, and obviously that that um, is in a different a version, right? They don't have some of the stuff you have in the PC version, so there's a lot of things I'm not too sure on. Like I didn't know how to uh, heal up a dog because before it used to just be using food, but now food puts them into love mode um, and so yeah that was a bit strange I found out later that you heal them up with food and when they are full health they will then enter love mode so that that's new and interesting I didn't even know about that um, and there's like other little things you know like spawning mechanics I weren't sure how they work, like do the cows disappear if I go so far away from home, is it going to be pointless, but apparently they don't. Um, yeah, so that sort of stuff, that's the sort of thing that I'm not too sure on. By the way, I'm going to kill all the cows that I see, because I want the leather, and I, I'm not going to be taking these cows back home with me. So I'm very sorry cows, but your sacrifice will not be in vain. Do I just fail to pick up the level the first time? No. Cool. But if I've travelled a day and I haven't seen a village, then I'm going to guess that there's not one in an easy... Oh, why do I keep dropping the sword? Stop being so silly. I might start heading back. Might go a bit over to the right. Uh, yeah. On the right, from the direction I was originally heading, and I'll start tracking back and hopefully find one. Ooh, an apple! That's something I don't have. 
See, collection all the way around. It was necessary. However, for mining purposes, I might... Oh, there's a plane here. There might be a good chance to see. Hey, get back here. No, 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 no. There you go. Did I pick it up? I did. Might be a good chance to see uh, a village. Oh, is that a plains or is it a mountain? I don't even know the name of the biomes. Not even sure. I see. I swear, I just don't pick it up the first time. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to track back. And if the village is this far out, then it doesn't make you know much sense to try and set up some sort of trading post with them unless I have a lot of iron and I build a really big minecart system which to be fair I do have quite a bit of gold Um I don't really use gold not much you can really use it for apart from making golden apples which do they still spawn in dungeons no because you can make them obviously with the apples falling from the trees so do they still do they still do Blech, blech. I can't speak, obviously. Do they still spawn um, in dungeons and strongholds? For that matter? I think they do. I think it's still quite rare. It's like a cow massacre here. Cow apocalypse. Um, yeah, would be interesting. I've never found a golden apple uh, in. Uh, Minecraft. I've had one obviously from you know, creative mode or uh, any adventure maps I've played and they happen to be in there as like a prize or um, whatever. But, no. Uh, hey. Stop. Thank you. Oh, I'm at 20. Is that 35? That's 35 levels. Oh, I better hope I don't die. Okay. I think I heard a spider. Is that another ravine? And a lava pool. There's quite a few ravines. Ah. Hiding from me. What are you just spawning in trees for? Okay, avoid the lava. Lava equal bad. Um, there is a lot of cows now. Before I could not find them for the life of me and now I just can't seem to walk two steps without bumping into one. Again, I know they don't. I know the spawning system now is that they don't spawn, like they don't despawn, but they don't respawn much. I think it's rare for it to happen. So I appreciate the fact that by killing all these cows, it means that there won't be any cows here now. But I do have a little farm, and I won't be coming back here anytime soon. So I might as well kill them now and get the leather, which I can use to make um, the. Uh, picture frames with. Also, what I'm going to do is um, make a book. Oh, no. That's c oh, jeez. All right, be making stone sword soon. Oh, bet. Um, yeah, might as well get some stone while I'm here. So if you heard that vibrating there, that was my phone. Terrible, terrible commentary. Commentary? Commentary? I can't even... Honestly, I cannot speak. Um, terrible commentary. Terrible talking. There you go. I should really have silenced it, but... No. Who cares? How much leather do I have now? It's got to be enough. 50 for that's pretty. That's a pretty nice amount. I won't be shy on food for a while. 
Alright, let's start let's start just rushing back home. No. No. I say that but I still kill no. cows. Because I lie to myself all the time. If you can hear my incessant clicking, it's because this cow will die. There you go. So, looks like our villager hunt was uh, a successful failure. Um, I like to think of it as... Well, they're not in this direction. But... For all the luck I have had and all the oddity stuffs I've had, like the quadrupled chickens and my sword that breaks and unbreaks, that was weird. Um, I don't, and the double spawners, that was quite lucky. I don't seem to be very lucky in terms of useful things like villages and at the start cows. There's a plains biome here. If I'm gonna find a village, it's gonna be in one of these. Okay, come on, run now. Oh, a bit of the Minecraftian music. Now that's gonna be another thing, which I've just realised. And that is to get music discs. I think there's 12 of them there. Yeah. That's going to be one of the tough ones. Because you can only get them, I believe, uh, by finding them in dungeons. And um, uh, by getting a skeleton to kill a creeper. Now, the actual skeleton killing a creeper thing isn't too hard. It's just risky. You know, it's very easily one mistake, one off footing put. No, no, not one off footing put. One foot. Well, putting a foot wrong is what I was trying to say. Um, and you can inadvertently get yourself blown. Is that a dungeon? It is, because I didn't put that cobblestone there. Yep, dungeon. Well, that was interesting. Let's just make some more torches. Yeah, that's how you make torches. Throw them on the ground and hope they stick. Let's just make a bunch. Um, I'm just going to light up this area a bit. Just so we don't have any unwanted guests. Might as well get this iron while I'm here. And the coal. Now. How to approach this dungeon? I think if I just open up the side door, beat up a few zombies, and then run away, that might be sufficient. You never know, might find a golden apple. Now, if we do, I swear it's not planned. I felt like I had to say this a lot, only because it seems like I am getting. Quite lucky. 